still are overdue for an update on the FTG electrification project and uh, a couple minutes ago I just drove it for the first time under electric power. There's still a lot to be done but the drive line is back together. I finished modifying the uh, hub part here to fit onto the tapered shaft on the motor and then the drive shaft that joins the two of them, uh, I shortened it in order to fit. So otherwise the drive train or the drive line is unchanged except that there's now the electric motor in place of the gas engine and uh, the hydraulic pump that runs off the back of it has been uh, set up and a uh, custom hub to connect it. It also has this kind of uh, shunt loop with a pair of check valves in it that allows it to uh, be spun backwards when we reverse the tractor without blowing air bubbles into the uh, return line on the tank. And in other news, the transmission and clutch came out and got a thorough going over and new bearings and seals throughout. And then, uh, so this is clutch and then transmission with two ranges plus reverse. Uh, it's a simple sliding gear transmission with no synchros and it looked to be in pretty good shape. Uh, I think I'm going to try to keep it in second gear whenever I can because that's the most robust gear pair. And then the output, you can possibly see in the gloom down there that this shaft here is actually, so that's input to the clutch and then it goes through the clutch, through the transmission and comes back out below and then that goes into the diff which also got dismantled, uh, inspected, cleaned and rebuilt with new bearings and seals and then the half shaft also got cleaned up. The final drive drop boxes at each wheel. I measured the ratio but I didn't bother to take them apart. Um, if they leak they're the easiest to get at. So now uh, for a test run I just plunked a 12 volt battery on it and uh, shunted the field. So this is a, a small jumper going from the armature stud to the field stud. Um, and same thing on the other side. And then power goes to the 12 volts goes to the armature through this contactor here. And this is the on off switch to energize the contactor and deliver only 12 volts. And uh, it's a, it's a separately excited motor, so the field coils are really small. You can see them. And uh, so for a test setup without a controller, shunt wiring the field it seems to work fine. That was a good advice from someone at DIY Electric Car, so thanks for that. And so now if I spin it up, The drive shaft is not perhaps 100% flawless, perfectly ba balanced, but uh, it runs a lot truer than before. I actually trued up the original factory build while I had it on the lathe and flattened the two, uh, the two kind of end plates. So it also, because I've kept the clutch, I can de-clutch hold that, shift into gear, and oh, that's too fast a gear for this demo. I'm going to get a tripod and do this right, but there it is, rolling in reverse under its own power. Not driving into anything, great. Back into neutral back into forward. Yeah, that's better. There's a better forward gear. Sorry for the lousy uh, video. I will get a tripod and reshoot some of this properly. There it goes. Driving away from me across the shop. Yes, I better get over there and stop that. Voila.
big accomplishments. Really happy and uh, looking forward to next step. So I'll put the fender back on on the near side and uh, start building the boxes to hold all the controllers and electrical components. So now more fabrication and wiring, but uh, this is a very promising point to get to. Thanks for watching.